Finally, this Christmas, we will know what it would be like to travel back in time to 1977 and eat the air freshener out of an old Ford Capri. For yes, Iceland, that nirvana of frozen foods, has supplied us with festive flavour, Christmas tree flavour, salted hand-cooked crisps. Because apparently we need crisps that taste like fir trees for some reason. No palm oil though, that's all right then. Yeah, big old bag, 180 grams, and their luxury, mmm, festive flavour, mmm, hand-cooked, mmm, tastes like a Christmas tree. Oh, is all I can say to that, really. Um, slightly bizarre concept here, really. Um, you know, it's like a novelty thing, isn't it? But they've been selling them for quite some time, and there are an awful lot left when I went to buy them, so they're obviously uh, properly stocked everywhere with them. Best before 2nd of February. Well, we better open and eat them all now. What could possibly go wrong except how they taste? Right. Oh, decent looking crisps. Yeah. Quite liking the uh, look of them. Smells just like ready salted crisps. That's one you would expect, really. Or chips, as you might call them if you are American. But not here. That'd be the French fry things. Well. Oh, there's a slight smell of pine or something, but not, not like an air freshener smell. They just smell slightly different to normal um, really salted crisps. Well, that's interesting. Well, what's the flavour sensation then? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, it's subtle, but it is there. Um, oh, oh God. I was about to say I'm not sure I could have actually worked out that it was uh, sort of uh, fir tree, Christmas tree flavour. Then the aftertaste hit, and oh my goggly goodness. Yeah, they're weird. They are proper weird. They're not un unpleasant, really, but they're not that great either. These would actually be really good ready salted crisps, I think, if they hadn't have, you know, done the whole Christmas tree thing. Oh. Well... Could have been better, could have tasted like a glass bauble or something. Um, what are the ingredients? What are they actually doing with this? Potatoes, sunflower oil, pine salt flavour seasoning. Mmm, that's the stuff, isn't it? Made of maltodextrin, sea salt, dextrose, salt. Mmm, all the salts. Yeast extract, flavouring and pine oil. Suitable for vegetarians and people who don't care what they're eating because it tastes weird. Right, I'm going to go for a third. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're all right, but they're not something I'd necessarily go for again. Oh, it is, it is the pine aftertaste that makes it makes it a problem. Oh dear. Oh well. Ugh. I'm glad there aren't any more weird flavoured crisps this Christmas. Oh wait, there's bloody loads. Walkers, that uh, Gary Lineker-backed purveyor of all things crisp-related have decided to give us Brussels sprouts. Many thanks to uh, Dan Nerdcubed and Rebecca for giving me these, because, um, oh, the image of sprouts for illustrative purposes only. Product contains no Brussels sprout, contains flavouring only. Oh, so they're not actually chipped sprouts. I'm slightly disappointed in a way, but also I actually didn't expect that, to be honest. Um, I have tried the pigs in blankets. They were very nice. Turkey and stuffing, they were very nice. Glazed ham, cheese and cranberry, I have not tried. <laughs> But yeah, hashtag sprout lovers. That, that's a thing, apparently. Here at Walker's, we've developed a range of delicious festive flavours, and this one. Go on then, Brussels sprout seasoning. Brussels sprout seasoning contains sugar, colour. Um, so Brussels sprout seasoning doesn't seem to contain any Brussels sprout. I'm not entirely convinced by this. Right. Well, let's open it up, and as Mr. Eli Silverman would say, have a huff. Oh! It smells of cabbagey farts or something. Great. And they are slightly green, these crisps. Here is the slight greenness to... Uh, oh, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Are they slightly green or is it just... Ah, hang on. Yes, they are very slightly green, as you can see. But not in a way I probably wouldn't have noticed if A wasn't expecting it and B hadn't put it next to another one. Well, let's see what Brussels sprout crisps taste like, apart from regret and mistakes. Oh. Oh. Holy shit, they really do taste of Brussels sprouts. Despite apparently not having any in. Mmm. It's got that kind of thin, slightly disappointing texture that all Walker's crisps have had for years for some reason. 
Um, oh, yeah, I mean, again, it's not like horrible or anything, but oh, if I had to choose between them, I'd totally be choosing the Christmas tree ones. Yeah, well, it doesn't overstay its welcome, and frankly, it wasn't very welcome taste wise, and there isn't much of an aftertaste, so we thank the gods for that. Yeah, that's, um, well, that's a concept, isn't it? And now to finish up with our final novelty crisp. It's from Pringles. So they're not, not really crisps. It's like a lot of mashed but, um, spud that they've sort of uh, done something with with heat, cooked them in some manner. Um, yeah, no, Pringles are a funny thing. I know some people don't like them because uh, they have that kind of slightly cardboardy texture. Me, I think they're fine. And look at the lovely moustache on Mr. Pringle here. <laughs> he uses it to hide his mandibles. Free presents with every can. Holy shit, I didn't know that. Well, that's an extra bonus. Christmas dinner edition. Prosecco and pink peppercorn. So pink peppercorn, I'm quite behind. Prosecco. If you don't know what Prosecco is, it's a sparkling wine that's quite popular at the moment. Um, yeah, how does that work? Um, there's, oh god, there's a million horrifying bloody uh, ingredients on here. Wheat uh, Prosecco and pink peppercorn seasoning. It has milk in it. Yeah, uh, Prosecco powder. There we are. Is that actually powdered wine? I kind of hope so, because that sounds awful. Right, once you pop, you can't stop unless they're this flavour, probably. Where's my free gift? There is no free gift. You have told me lies. How does this work? To claim a free digital gift, Pringles recipe book or party planner, and find out instantly if you have won one of 35,569 odd number, winning moments, prizes, purchase a promotional account, and bring them enter batch code between blah blah blah. All right, I shall do this afterwards and then edit in right here if I won anything or not. That'll be exciting. Right, smell. Hmm, slightly, I would have said a vinegary smell almost. That does surprise me. Well, let's see what they're like. Oh, 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 oh god, they're proper weird. Oh man. So you don't really taste the pepper, the pepper is kind of the aftertaste. And the main taste is, it really does have a kind of sparkling wine thing going on. Oh. Oh god. Yeah, they they are very strange indeed. Again, I'm not going to say they're massively unpleasant or anything, but holy crap, they're weird. They've got that Pringles thing of the horrible addictiveness, but um yeah, I'm probably not going to eat a whole lot more. Mm. If I had to say, these are probably my favourite, actually, as strange as they are. They're at least something different, and they don't give me a massive aftertaste of fir tree. They just give me a nice aftertaste of pepper, which is slightly better. And the Brussels Sprite ones, all a bit unpleasant, really. Well, there we go. What a, what a year this is for weird crisps. Is this going to, like, grow? Is next year, you know, half the crisp aisle going to be, I don't know, things tasting of bin bags, wrapping paper and regret? I have no idea, but, um, well... As it stands this year, if you have to eat some of these, um, avoid the Brussels sprouts. Yeah, maybe it's kind of a tie-up between these. Whilst I personally prefer those, those are slightly more neutral, so that might do better for you. Anyway, Christmas. I'm